Finding an Android smartphone with an incredible spec sheet is fairly easy these days, but if you want something running stock Android, that's a little bit harder. For the most part, Google's Pixel line is their version of what they think Android should be like. But the new Nubia Red Magic Mars is actually a little bit more authentic, a more pure stock experience than what Google even has to offer. Owned by ZTE, Nubia is a brand that most people still aren't that familiar with, especially over here in the West. Their phones have typically looked good and generally performed quite well, but the Nubia Red Magic Mars is in a class of its own. As you can clearly see, this phone was designed for gamers. There's an angular metal panel on the back fitted with red accents and an LED strip down the middle spine which make it look like this phone just fell off of a spaceship. It's not exactly what I, or even most people, would call pretty, but it's certainly a breath of fresh air when you consider all the other generic slabs that we've been seeing a lot of lately. There is a little bit of a silver lining here though. The aggressive design of the outside actually mirrors the performance and the internal components of the device. It's been built from the ground up to be one of the most powerful Android handsets you can currently buy. Powering the phone is a Snapdragon 845 processor, and the one I have here has eight gigabytes of RAM, but you can choose a six or 10 gigabyte option depending on how much money you wanna spend. The six inch display has a resolution of 2160 by 1080, and it's an LCD panel with pretty decent visibility even in direct sunlight. And then there's a 16 megapixel camera on the back and an eight megapixel selfie camera. And Nubia's even thrown in a pretty decent 3,800 milliamp hour battery that's charged up with Quick Charge 3.0. Seriously, there's barely anything on this phone when you start it up for the first time. The only added apps are the user manual, the LED strip customizer, and finally the gaming mode, which actually isn't even in the app drawer and can only be triggered with a hardware switch on the side of the phone. You get the usual Google applications that you get with every device that has the Play Store pre-installed, and then Nubia swapped out their own gallery and camera apps since the ones that come with stock Android are pretty much useless. Using a phone that doesn't have a custom skin overlay is really nice, but if I'm being completely honest, stock Android is just a tad boring, especially with the stock launcher. To give things a little bit of a flair, I've installed the rootless pixel launcher on the device. But if you're the type who loves a clean slate to work with, this phone is probably perfect for you. You can install whichever Android launcher you want on top of this thing, swap out the lock screen for something a little bit more useful, and do a few other tweaks, and you'll have a fully customized phone that doesn't have any weird quirks that get in the way. Having talked to Nubia several times before and after the launch, that's exactly what they were shooting for. The target market this phone is made for are users who simply want a powerful device and nothing in the software that'll get in the way of its overall performance. And that's exactly what stock Android does. But this phone does have one major flaw, which actually might keep you from buying it, and that's its cameras. At first glance, the images captured by the main camera on the back of the phone look pretty good, but after snapping a few shots, you'll notice that there's a real lack of detail with shoddy dynamic range and mediocre low light performance. Switching on the HDR mode does help a little bit with bringing in extra color and life to the images, and there's also a pro mode that's built in so that you can change the settings on your own. But I definitely wouldn't recommend this phone to anyone who's serious about posting great shots to their Instagram feed. The selfie camera is even more disappointing though, reminding me of the bad front-facing cameras that we typically get from mid-range devices. But that's really not what this phone is about. It's about offering an incredible gaming experience, and on that front, it doesn't disappoint. When you switch on the dedicated gaming mode with the hardware switch on the side, the phone blocks out your notifications and boosts the performance of the Snapdragon 845 processor to ensure the best frame rate possible for your games. Nubia's even thrown in capacitive trigger buttons on the side of the phone which can be mapped to certain games. And there's even a custom 4D vibration feature, but it's currently only available for PUBG and Knives Out. The stereo speaker system also kicks out decent audio for your gaming sessions. And the inclusion of a headphone jack and a high quality DAC is something you can't even find on the OnePlus 6T these days. 
Gamers will also enjoy the fact that the 3,800 milliamp hour battery will get them through hours of gaming sessions. If you're looking to push the phone to its limits, expect five to six hours of continual gaming. But if you're simply using it as a regular smartphone, you can easily get through a day or even a day and a half on a single charge. To say that this phone is dramatically better than other devices may be going a little bit too far. While I haven't had any issues playing games at full settings, the overall performance is just a little bit better than what you'd get from other 2018 devices. The Nubia Red Magic Mars is definitely in a class of its own, especially when you consider its $399 starting point. If you want the model with 8GB of RAM, it's a good $140 less than what you would pay for an equivalent OnePlus 6T. I'm not willing to say that the Red Magic Mars is a better buy, since its camera is nowhere good as what OnePlus has to offer, but it's definitely an appealing option if you're simply looking for something that's focused on gaming. If you want to know if the OnePlus 6T is a better option for you, make sure you check out that video review as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we hope to catch you in the next one.